can't wait all day. Did you see them, miss? Bishop Alexander and the Hammer herself. They, they were so close, almost within arm's reach. What do you mean? You don't know them? Oh, remarkable. Bishop Alexander is the son of the Divine, the leader of the Divine Order. And Dallas, the Hammer, is his right hand. That's nice. I don't care. They're stupid. Um, you don't have enough money to give me things. Okay, whatever. They are all that stand between you, me, and the Void. And they were right here just a moment ago, attending to some business. Yep. Sure, they're in my to kill list. Oh, I'll not forget this. I wonder if I could get a letter out of this place. Oh, my daughter would love to hear I've seen the great bishop up close. Yeah, you're gonna die. Um, come on, then, lady. All right, let me get this mushroom. Hi, kitty. You, you there. You, you've just arrived, isn't that right? Are you... Are you quite alone? Yeah. In that case, listen up. You must think me mad to approach a stranger, but this camp is full of cowards and I'm running out of time. Fast. Too fast. Way too fast. Ooh, you have things that I don't need. What's your planning? I've been here a long time. Longer than anyone else. People get taken sometimes. Some folks say they get cured. Well, I don't know if I believe it, and I don't want to wait and find out. No, they die. They they die. They die. Well, in their manner of speaking, I'll let you guys know when I yeah. I have a way out of here. It won't be easy, and I need a partner. Just one. Are you interested? I want in. Had a girl who wouldn't. Finally, someone with a little sense around here. The plan's simple. Completely foolproof. I have a spell that I can use to teleport you right out of here. I can't use it on myself, but with your help, we can both get out of here. There's an artifact that you can use to teleport me out of this place. Then I can use my spell to free you in turn. Uh, this item, though, it's in quite an unfortunate location. Where is it? It's found its way into a nest of crocodilians on a secluded beach nearby. Here, give me your map and I'll show you where to go. All right. Get that artifact and you and I are as good as free. Go give those lizards... Pardon? What for? I'm a lizard. Don't... All right. Um... Where is... Beast? I only mean that if you think about it logically... Actually, Luce, Lucy, Lose, Lose, where are you? I need to talk to you. Ooh, very point. The shrine depicts Lucy and the Divine. Hello, resonant. Your knees buckle. Okay, so I can go to the. Oh, I don't feel so good. There you are. No, not that way. I know you. Yeah, you know me. We partner up with me. Losa, the dark-eyed jokes to you met aboard the ship, waves enthusiastically and dips into a mock elegant curtsy. Back then, I was <coughs> Madame Josephine Gribbles de Pube, and you were you. <laughs> Glad to see you made it. Nothing like a nice tentacle slap across the moor to set the tone for the week, eh? How'd you escape? Yeah, I don't remember. I saw you fall. We all did. Thought you were done for. I can't get rid of a skeleton that easily. When we get out of this place, I owe you a pint. So you managed to swim to safety, is that it? What about when you were in the water? Didn't hear anything unusual, did you? Yeah, there's a strange voice. Voices talk to me all the time. I heard the same thing. Do you know what this means? It means I'm not the only... Crazy person. Losa's voice catches in her throat. The joy drains from her face. Her eyes lose focus and her whole body goes rigid. She is stock still, waxy skinned, her eyes dark. Grayish black veins run from her eyes down her cheeks. You okay? Her head snaps to you mechanically, and her eyes lock with yours. Dark pupils dilated into great black voids. Light suddenly flashes back into her face. The gray veins drain to pinkish flesh, and her whole body relaxes. Anyway, 
What were we talking about? Uh, why are you acting weird? Oh, it's nothing really. It's just, I'm just a bit, well, a bit hospitable. Okay. Put it like this. You've never been a host, I bet. That's because you're an infested clump of leaves on the side of the road. That ain't bad, though. I'd give just about anything to be like you. But I'm a, a roadside inn. Red door, flowers out front, friendly lady at the door beckoning you in for half price. Like a god's damn gold star inn for the disembodied. How many people you got in there? Feels like just one, strangely enough. Big one, though. Don't know its name yet, either. It takes time for them to get comfortable and introduce themselves. So, how are you enjoying the joy? Um... I heard the accommodations are acceptable, I had to see for myself. So true. And you can stay as long as your heart desires, free of charge. So, you want to check this place out together? Strength in numbers and all that. Yes. It does, right? Before we head out, I've got more than a few tricks up my sleeve. So you'll have to pick which one I'll pull out if, <laughs> when, push comes to shove. Lately I've been into the enchanting arts, but I can shoot, slash, summon, steal. Whatever your little black heart desires. So, what'll it be? Enchanter is good. Sounds fine. So, we're good to go? Yeah? Well, that was easier than I thought. And I'll do my best to stay myself. Uh, Lead the way. You got any trouble traveling with an undead? Well, no. Or I wouldn't have joined up with you, would I? Don't worry. I'm sure your get-up will fool most people hook, line, and sinker. I'm sensitive. Knew who you were the moment you rolled up. So don't worry, and lead the way, your deadliness. Alright. Uh, now that we have somebody... We'll be down here. Alright, um... She has a bag. You need... You have staff. You... Okay, we need you to learn hydro what's you might call it. Uh, how do I sort? Auto sort. Um Alright, uh, we'll give you this healing potion. Because I'm not gonna need it. You can have some soup. And uh you can have this apple. Alright, cool. Bow your head, please. If we chant the endless prayer, the next divine will ascend. Whatever. Bread or brisket, toast side. Alright, now we're gonna go get our net other friend. Do 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 fish bones. When another divine arrives. Oh, oh. Here come to shake me down for my knickers, have you? They're all I got left after your buddies with. I should be talking. Oh, I should level my character. How do I do this? Um, we gonna need strength, and I'm gonna go. Mm, I think perseverance or retribution. It's gonna be retribution, I think. And then I guess I could be the persuasive one. When another divine arises, yeah, I'll be the persuasive one. What if there are no sorcerers? Yet so quickly we find so Look up, old chap. There's plenty of singletons about. Uh, save, new save. Leave me be, Sam. What's going on here, buddies? Please, excuse us. You're talking to me, not her, Sam. Oh, for the love of Lucian, Balladeer. You're acting like a madman. Say it again. What you said about my wife. Go on. Uh, do you want me to settle this? Piss off. Okay, whatever. Go on, Sam. Well, it's the truth, and you know it. She's better off. So what if it was messy? I'd rather puke myself to death a thousand times than let the Reds get to me. If she were my wife, 
I'd be happy for her. You know, he's not exactly wrong, if you know what was happening. A flat smile twitches across Balladeer's lips. She never did like you. Now you loot. Ooh, flower. All right. Wouldn't have a thing about you and I. Listen, she's probably better off. Beast! Beast! Come on, you stubborn hunk of garbage. The dwarf's fingers clamp around a splintered chunk of wood nailed to the skeleton of an old ship. His whole body strains with the effort of wrenching the plank free, to no avail. Hey, I recognize you. Eh? Oh, that. That uh, won't be my first or last roll on a lost boat. Reckon I might have had a harder time of it without your help, though. Bravery on the high seas is rewarded tenfold in the hall, you know. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got business to attend to. The dwarf spits into each of his calloused palms and rubs them together before placing them both back on the plank and pulling. Need a hand? Nail must be charmed or something. Go on then, give it a go. You grab the plank and pull. The rusted nail pops loose, and the plank promptly crumbles to pieces in your hand. Oh, look at that. Nice of you to finish the job after I uh, loosened her up. Yep. He winks and flips a gold coin toward you. It makes a long, high arc, glinting in the sun, and lands squarely in your hand. For your trouble. Thanks. I suppose it were a fool's errand thinking I could make something out of this heap, but I couldn't help myself from trying. He sucks a finger and holds it up to the wind, testing the breeze. Winds like these. She would have capsized before she reached the break. Well, on to plan B. Thinking of escaping? He gives you a wry look, as though deciding whether to trust you. I was planning to build me a raft and paddle off. I've got business north of here, in a town called Driftwood. Far be it from me to miss an appointment. Come on. We should work together. Why don't we make a deal then? You help me get out of this place, and I'll do the same for you. Shake on it. That's the spirit. He lifts an invisible cap and bows with the grace of a courtier. Pleased to make your acquaintance. The name's... Well, the name's dead and buried. What matters is what they call me. Beast. Wait. Not the beast? May have been cast out, but you can bet your last heel of breed she wishes she hadn't of. I've taken my revenge a thousandfold on that tyrant's fleet. So what do you plan on doing once you escape? I'll tell you when you're older. I'm pretty old. I'm decomposing. Anyhow, we're a team now, so the me is not half as important as the us. Let's get down to brass tacks. Fighting, I mean. I've been up and down the realm so often it'd make your cabbage spin, and I picked up a few tricks along the way. Truth be told, I've grown fond of crushing and casting. A battle mage, if you like. But there's not so important as team dynamics. So what'll it be? Battle mage it is. I'm the battler, she's a mage, I'm... Then it's settled. Capital. Well, that's that sorted. Onward then. I've got to get out of here, and soon. And I suppose you do, too. Um, I'm kind of dead. Ah, well. My best mate's son is undead. Nothing to be ashamed of. Now, onward. I'm so happy that you're all so accepting. Alright, what do you know? You are a battle mage. Shit. Alright, I'll have to learn how to build you up. Are you... You're jeweled. Okay, I can work with that. I, I said I could work with that. Come on, guys. Don't mind the squirrels. Alright, what we got here? I'm waiting for someone, and it ain't you. Sod off. Okay. The woman looks out on the gently lapping waves. She seems totally at peace, but as you approach, she turns to you with a cheerful smile. I haven't seen you around here before. 
New? Just arrived. Well, don't worry too much if you have a hard time settling in. Takes a while to get used to the place. You here alone? I got a few travel mates. She gives you a long look. You keep them friends of yours close, eh? Some of us haven't got anyone at all anymore. Not much in this world someone you love can't make better. Well, thanks for the advice. It's nothing. If I haven't learned that by now, I haven't learned anything at all. Or are you alone? Used to be. I had a family. A husband and a little boy. We were healers. Source was in our blood. Then they brought us here. I couldn't stop them from taking my boys from me when they did. Reckon they were cured. Maybe even released. Don't know why the Reds didn't take me too. Now I'm just waiting for them to call my name. Waiting and remembering. What are your boys like? Her eyes sparkle. Kind of you to ask. Stefan. He was my little one. Smart as a whip and no less wicked. And my husband, he was called Felix. He was an expert healer. Could fix a broken bone in a short minute. This is gonna take a while. She talks for some time about birthdays, about Felix's prickly beard, about the skunk Stefan once dragged home for a pet. Joy radiates from her as she remembers. She places a warm hand on your shoulder. What a gift to think of them. I'd like to give something to you too. A family recipe. One of Felix's best. He'd be happy to know it went to such a, a warm soul. Take care of yourself. You hear? You're a sweet one. What did you give me? Oh, restoration throw. Cooking station. All right, uh, let's cook this. Dinner, lots of dinner. Um, can I do something with the garlic? And meat? Nope, just the meat then. It's gonna be lots of poison food for me. A lot of poison food. Um, is there anything? Can I do a thing, thing with the apple? Oh, what about the uh, the clam? Nope. Okay, cool. Um, can I make a cooking station? Okay, I forgot how this is done. All right. Herring. Okay. Is it red? Boom. All right. Patience, Mal. Patience. Patience. Here you are. I wonder what keeps you. Tell me your tale. What you want now? Start from the beginning. Start from where you come. Okay. I see. I see. Uh, now tell me more. Tell me what you do. Tell me what you find. Ah, you have spells and stuff. Uh. Um. These are really expensive. That's the problem. I don't need the ink pot. Uh, I want to make I amends. Understand. Now tell me how your story ends. Looking for something lost. Ah, you want reunion. Life is lonesome. Yes, it is. It's very is lonesome. lonesome. The thing you love is gone. 
I have something for you, my friend. A gift. We can see the things we lose. Ooh. Not with our eyes, but with our hearts. This ruby does the trick. Thank you. It is nothing. Many fragments swell on my shore. See what I gather. Alright. Later. I'll sell this off later. Alright. Um... Tides in and out and in again. Lots of shells. Ooh, West Brewood. I should make potions at some point. There's an anchor and a fish bone and some stuff. About over here. Nope. All right. Um, I should start getting quests. I wanted to get Saibo, cause I wanted a party of four before I did anything. And then I have to get some money. Hi, doggy. I know your quest. It's kind of sad. The old dog looks up at you, but doesn't lift his graying head from his paws. He heaves a heavy sigh. What's your name, buddy? It's... it's no use anyway. Give him some fish. The dog tentatively sniffs the offering, then grabs it between its teeth and swallows it. You're... you're nice. Emmy would have... Emmy would have loved you. Who's Emmy, buddy? She was my mate for the last seven, carry the two, plus fifty. Five years! The Magisters, they took her. Oh. Where was she taken? Nope. Haven't smelled her either. She was real bright, you know. Had the best sniffer you've ever seen. I guess that's why they wanted her, not me. You're, 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 you're better off being out here, buddy. Say, let me show you something. Food. Mm. The dog focuses at the cat at your feet, baring its teeth and growling. Hey, don't do that to the cat. All right, what did you just give me? Buddy's key. Huh. Anything? Ooh, fish rack. Want more fish, buddy? Oh, hey. Hey! I thought you might be Emmy. It's... It's nice to see you. Where's... Where... Do you know where this key's for? Key? What key? Oh, the key! The Magister who took Emmy dropped it when he was walking away. Did someone say Emmy? Oh, Emmy! If you find out where it leads, if you see Emmy, tell her I miss her. I think I love you. I want you to come with me! It's a skull. Great! 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 I love skulls! Skulls are great. Alright, we still have our buddies following us. So, what's this? What's... Huh. It's okay, okay. Better to fight the Reaper. Alright, um... I need a spell book. Oh, it's her. Great. Hey there, buddy. Amid the squalor of Fort Joy, you suddenly spot an elf with diamond features, regal and radiant, but cold too, and sharper than any knife. She was the one who sat rolling dice in the ship that went under, deciding fates with every roll. Or so she said. Weirdo. Her eyes are focused on a lizard some distance away. And you get the distinct feeling he's an unfortunate man indeed to be trapped in her tiger-like gaze. Hi, it's good to see you again. No sooner have these words left your mouth than she turns about and grabs you in a stranglehold. 
you feel the tip of a long needle being pushed a little ways into one of your neck's vertebrae. That's nice. You caught me off guard. No one catches me off guard. Better tell me who you really are, or this time, I'll let my needle do the licking. Come on! Just take it easy! But you did, and now the tables have turned. You look quite startled to me. A push, a pivot, and now you suddenly face her. The needle's still all too deeply embedded in bone. Buddies, help me out here. Despite the precariousness of your situation, you notice something that remained undetected in the gloom of the ship. A flaw in her diamond features. A curiously shaped scar on her left cheek. It's dawning on you, isn't it? Why I hate reptiles like you. I am not a slaver. Forgive me if I don't take your word for it. I'm pretty dead. She drives the needle in deeper and whispers. In truth, it does not matter in the least who you really are. You saw me mark my prey. You could warn him, save him, or kill him before I get my chance. That makes you a liability. That makes you needle feed. Uh, you can join me instead. Never. Come on, I'm trying to escape. You are a lizard, perhaps a slaver. Why should I freely chain my fate to one like you like I was once forced to? Come on. Come on, I'm pretty strong. I hate to say it, but you make sense, fork tongue. I'm, uh, undead. Oh, little needle mine, what should I do? Push or pull? Hmm, the agony of choice. I'm kind of dead. It doesn't matter. Hmm. You know what? Today is a rather fine day. Sunshine and an easy breeze. Yes, I'll let you live. I'll even agree to travel with you, provided we talk to another lizard. The one I've had my eye on. I'm not quite sure the weather will save him. With a casual flick of the wrist, she withdraws the needle from your neck and smiles as if she just invited you to sit down for tea. You know I'm dead, right? Yes, the needle did find you rather tough to chew. Then again, I already knew I'd have to push hard, knowing what you really are. This may strike you as, um, rather eccentric, but the thought of traveling with one such as yourself quite enthuses me. Cool! She tilts her head ever so slightly and looks at you almost mockingly. You can't help but contemplate with both dread and delight the absolute darkness at the heart of her cat's eyes. <laughs> yes, this will be jolly good fun. I'm glad you think that way. Let's discuss our respective roles then, shall we? You, me, and Death will be playing many a round of hide and seek. So, what role would you like me to play? As a rogue, my speciality is rogue. suits me fine. Then follow me. You're not quite certain you'll ever sleep soundly with Seville in any sort of proximity. But at least she's on your side. For the moment. Yay. She's... She's a weirdo. Come, my little gaggle. Do, 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 gaggle. All right, we got some things to do. Your griff teaches you to bully others. You, help me teach this beast. He must respect. If not, he comes for you next. Uh, hi. Respect? Huh. <laughs> Someone's got to keep this place running. Griff can't do it for free. Why'd you gotta make this so hard? I want your shit. An intense looking man steps between the thug and the elf and rolls up his sleeves, revealing well muscled and heavily scarred arms. You recognize him. It's Ifan, who you met aboard the ship on the way here. Hi, Ifan. I'm not gonna have you in my party. Just stand aside, won't you, mate? This is no business of yours. Lone wolves decide their own business. The thug freezes in fear for a moment before shuffling back to the protection of his crony. Pay up, Elf. No one shorts Griff. Especially not one of you. Sounds like a shakedown. You two ought to be thanking your lucky gods it's us, and not the Magisters enforcing round here. A fool never knows what they've got till it's well and gone. How about I beat the shit out of you and take your stuff? Now come on, Elf. 
If you make me say it again, there's gonna be trouble. Do you want to go? Burrow looks you up and down, sizing up your threat. Ah, get out of here. The both of you. You ain't worth the sweat of my brow anyhow. The elf smiles and bows to you in thanks. Follow me, before more of them trouble us. There is a safe place. Hi. Amidst a crowd of screws, bolts, and scraps of metal, the woman is manipulating a glove-like contraption fitted with five long metal skewers. She doesn't look up as you approach. Hi there. Hey, what you after? What you making? I ain't. Just seeing how it's made. She's clever, Dallas. Made these herself for those bodyguards of hers. Boy, they're sharp. She looks up. You looking to buy something? Uh, yeah. What you got for sale? All manner of things. Have a look. Ooh. Okay. Ah, we'll come back later. Alright, where is that lady? I think she went this way. I need to leave Losi outside, unfortunately. She's, um... She's going to be a liability. Alright, um... You stay out here. You stay out here. We'll be right back. Don't fall us inside. Oh, a little reprieve from the din outside. House. Hallowed are its halls. Please, comrade, I have all you need to steel yourself against the brutes that haunt this place. I will accept no more than a pittance for all you may require. Oh, thank you, brother. Alright, let's speak to, um, some peeps. Uh, how do we get... Where? Right, this way. There's a reason I left Losi outside. No one tells me there are so many children in this Fort Joy. Magisters I handle, but small ones. Children are necessary for a spatial population, unless you're living in the modern world where they're a pest. An elf lives forever. If she stays away from spears and fire, she has no need for slimy, sticky, small ones. Hi there. The young girl's eyes are covered, but she turns towards you when you approach. She smiles as though she recognizes you, though she couldn't have seen your face. Ah, hello. I see you come a long way. I see you come here seeking a great adventure. Do you find it? How do you know that? I see it before my eyes. Say you've heard far seeing as much as a burning as gift. <laughs> it is not so bad. I know which days have bread and which days have none. I know more bread comes someday. It helps. I'm not here to talk about my private life. Your life is not your own. Your life is for us all. I cannot say more. You see someday. I'm looking at a way out. Her eyebrows shoot up. There can be a way. Amiro knows. But he is gone. Do you see him? I... He knows how to leave. I don't know. My protector, my friend, an elf like me, with a spirit bright as new leaves. He tries to help me, to save me, and he suffers very much. He is caught by those who hurt him. I wish so much for his return. And he tells you what you seek. A way out. I'll do this. You bring me great peace. Thank you, my friend. I miss him very I'm much. I'm just looking for stuff to level I me up. I see something that helps. I see a lizard. He is a lizard of many dreams, of far feeling. You do not free Amiro without him. Yes, please ask. 
Why are you guys in here? It is safer here. We make no trouble for Griff. He makes no trouble for us. Alright, see ya. I know they help. Wait, I call a timeout. Whack! Back, evil ogre, or I'll get you with my sword! Ah. I'll spare you this time, beast, but don't cross me again. Ever. <laughs> You're really fun. Hey, I'm gonna hide somewhere in the cave and you come find me. Okay. Ready? Go. Um Hi. <laughs> you found me. Okay. There's a reason I'm wait, doing this. Wait, wait, let me hide again. Ready, go! Okay. I don't know where this kid is. Ooh, it's a cup of tea! And another way. Where are you? Kiddo. Oh! Wow! You're really smart! I bet. You know what? I bet my best friend would really, really, really like you. Come on, I'll introduce you. Okay. I know how to spell introduce. Yeah, 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 that's great. Right, where's your best friend at? Hmm. My way is this hole small. is too small for you You'll to squeeze to into. Another. Hope you brought a shovel. What's this? I found something. Almost there. Yep, this is a way. I want all your stuff. Oh wait, there's money in there. I need it. I need the money. All right, where are you, kiddo? All right, let's save. So yeah, this is um a quest, and there's a guy down. You'll, you'll see in a minute. Ooh, stuff. Pants. I can use some pants. Go back. And you brought. Go on. Don't be shy. Talk to with. Sup, Wither? Wither, this is my new friend. She's really smart. You'll like her a lot. Nice to meet you, bud. Please, small child, leave me to my rumination. Hey, I'm not a child. But she's really nice and tall. And dead. Maybe she can even help you with that thing. I'm very dead. Why? A grown friend. You brought an adult here. Good, good gods. Can it be? Hi there. You. Dead walker. Oh my god. Tell me true. Stand you with the source hunters, or do you serve the town at Brackus Rex? Um I don't know any of what you speak of because like that's all ancient history. Ancient history? Can it have been so long already? Gods how the time flies. I haven't seen a living soul in all that time. What a strange notion. So the kid doesn't count? A child made technically be alive but so is a potato if you understand me no body cannot help with what i ask all right what do you need a wicked king it was bracus rex by name the order of the source hunters discovered a great horror upon this prison isle and i was sent to stop it okay yet my failure was absolute i am not fit to bear the insignia of the source hunters any longer please good lady you must free me. Prize this spear from my chest, where it has been stuck fast for the last thousand years. Okay. Seize the spear. End this degradation. I beg you. All right. Oh, I got it. Good madam. You've set my body free. Free to crumble to dust at last. Oh. But my spirit, blast, I remain trapped in this moldering skeleton yet. 
Hmm, must be some magic. I have heard of such magic, but have never known anyone so foul as to employ it. Bracchus Rex. May maggots lace his entrails. After he interred me in this cell, he must have drawn my very soul away from me and stored it elsewhere in the fort. Thus, he has bound me entirely to the mundane realm. But I know this place well. I could lead you to its likely location. In turn, you would find a path straight out of this fort. My freedom for yours. What say you? Huzzah! Marvelous, my friend. Marvelous. You'll first have to get inside the fort itself. There's a secret switch on a statue of the Seven in the courtyard. Surely you know it. Yep, yep. The switch will open a hatch and you'll be led into the prison's main floor. I suspect that within Bracchus's phylactery room, you will find the container which ensnares my soul. He has likely disguised it well, but search there for another hidden switch. Will do, dude. Bracchus would have made me a supplicant, a slave to these walls. With your help, I'll die. At last. With dignity. Death without your soul. Is no death at all, my friend. I was fully briefed about this awful place before I came. My goal was to destroy the fiend who had been marshalling the world's most unwholesome weapons and magic into an army he intended to use against the realm. I never thought I would become one of his victims. And yet, here I am. Anything else you can tell me about this island? I kind of know all about it. Fort Joy is a dangerous place, my friend. Dangerous indeed. Bracchus used this place to build an arsenal of terrible weaponry as yet unseen in our world. Here, he and his researchers crafted punishments and snares contrary to human dignity. Objects that could contain souls. Ones that could purge the very essence from sorcerers. My order would never have used such barbaric magic against our enemies. Alright. Uh... T... T... Alright, be back soon. Uh, I'm gonna help you get your friend out of here, Moby. I'm just gonna get out of here. Anything else do I need? Nope. Alright. I need a person who sells hydro books. Okay, Lucy, let's go. All right, I need somebody who sells books. First, I have some pants. Yep, I'm great. All right, um, who needs pants? No, those are not pants. Gloves, belt, pants. Pants. Excellent. All right, so there's some turtles that are outside that we need to get rid of. Also, we still have the cat. Okay, good. Need some buckets. You'll be wearing a bucket on your head. It, it provides armor, okay? Alright, so do 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 don't mind me, don't mind me. A log. Do, 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 do. If don't talk to Ifan because unfortunately things happen. Mama, where are you hey, snake face. What you heard about a crate stolen supplies. And don't you lie to me now. I don't know what you're talking about. Just like everyone else. But don't worry. Nothing happens in this camp that Griff don't find out about. Irma? Where are you, Doc? Please, I'm sorry, but you must leave. My baby's terrified of lizards. She may be hiding from you even now. Irma? Irma, darling, are you here? Please, sweetheart. Where are you? Um, why don't you... Oh, keep an eye out. No, please. She's terrified of your kind. I don't know why. 
But if she sees you, she's sure never to return. Please, I'm sorry, but you must go. Irma! Irma, dear, where are you? Which, what's he talking about? A fella can't hear himself think with all this racket. Day and night she hollers after that child. You know anything about it? Yeah, that Farah. You got to cut that out. What's happened to you? Aye, she needs help, but none that I can give. Matters a cooker, that one, and twice as loud. Why do you think she's crazy? What else do you call hollering after a ghost? That child of hers she's shouting after has been dead and buried a month over. Killed by a void woken back in our home village. Never even stepped foot in Fort Joy. And there ain't no amount of hollering that'll bring her back. Please, I'm sorry, but you must leave. My baby's terrified of lizards. She may be hiding from you. Oh, bless you. Bless you. Irma's her name. She's about as high as your hip. Black of hair. A quiet child. Not prone to wandering off. I'm sick with worry. Completely sick. And I last saw her just here, near three days ago. She was playing with Yes, law. of course. Here, you should take it with you. When you find her, give her the doll and tell her, Mummy says this is for her little chicken, and it's time to come home. That's what I call her, my little chicken. She soaks up a steady stream of tears with her shirts. She's dead. She ought to come with you then. You are an egg. Ah, you're back. Please, did you find Irma? She still hasn't returned. She's dead. Well, you've been talking to that snake, Jeff, haven't you? I don't know where he gets these. You stay away from that. But she's very dead. Okay, whatever. Oh, I don't think I ain't watching. That's your fifth blue chest to this room. Irma? Irma? Read about shivs. It's time to accept reality. Where is he? Hi there. You there, lizard? I'm looking for an inmate. A smallish man, thick spectacles, prone to somewhat eccentric chatter. He wears a large bronze pendant with a dragon stamped into it. Have you seen him? Why are you looking for him? None of your business, inmate. Find me if you hear of a me go. Otherwise, don't waste my time. Okay, whatever, bitch. Is there anything up there? Hey, what up? The priest's jaws might be sewn shut with fishing wire, so harshly do they clench at the sight of beast. He speaks one clipped, precise syllable. Son. Is beast offending you? I'm not offended by the beast. No matter how foul that name feels to my lips, just disappointed. He turns his attention to beast himself, whose face looks oddly blank given his usual rambunctious demeanor. Did you think your merry band could try to toss Justinia into the sea and the clouds will turn to rainbows? A storm of your making still rages and whenever word of your deeds reaches her ears, lightning strikes. When your flunkies scream for revolution, I know what they're really screaming for, beast. And I know it's dwarven blood being shed. Someone had to stand up to Justinia. Not all of us are like you religious types. You fold up your hands and pray. Like that's going to feed the hungry and bathe the young. I'm not given to prayer. I just get things done. I like Beast. I would sooner implore Duna to intervene than to leave behind a trail of crimson limbs for the innocent to clean away. The priest collects himself. His eyes still burn, but his words are ice. May the seven bless you, Beast. Uh, yeah, whatever. Okay. I don't mean I can't beat ya. A little respect. Looky, looky here, mates. A fresh face. We love fresh faces, don't we? <laughs> oh, yes, Stop. we do. Oh, you only even orange. Why don't you join us in a round of cards? First hands on the house. Sure. <laughs> Chuff to you, chief. Here are your cards. You're up first. You glance at your hand. Two purple monarchs. A hard hand to beat. Okay. Quiet the hand, Freshy. Unfortunately, two is less than five, and that's how many purples I've got. I reckon that makes me the winner. 
Are you're, we having your fee then? You're cheating. Blaming a bloke you just met for your misfortune, are ya? Ease off, or I'll go ahead and double what you owe. Come on! To be sure, Chief. Pay up, and you get to keep your eyes. Sounds pretty satisfying, don't it? I don't it? got shit. Go on, then. Whatever pennies you've got in your pocket ain't worth my breath. But don't you go telling Griff I was soft on you. Who's Griff? Another inmate, but you wouldn't guess it. Runs this place like he's Dallas herself. Shouldn't be too hard to find him in the kitchen. Okay. What is it, weirdo? Your coin's gathering in a cave to the east. Head there if you want to keep your face in one piece. We gotta stay alive, ain't we? I aim to survive as long as I can in this hellhole. Okie dokie. Um, alright, so you're gonna need a bucket. Yep, everybody gets a bucket. Alright, what's over here? Another book. Can I help you? The woman is scrabbling at her throat, as though she can hardly breathe. Don't touch me. You're too close. This collar, this place, it's squeezing the life from me. Ah, squeeze back. I, I can't. I can barely even catch my breath. Okay. How is it possible? One minute you're in the garden in the sun, the next you're here, and they've put this thing around your neck. Yeah, I know. It sucks. Her hands move again to her throat. She seems to try to make space between her neck and the collar, but there's no space to be made. Later. Do you sell hydro spells? So? What's the news? No, you spell arrow spells. Bye. I think the guy who spells hydro spells is near Griff. So let's take a look over there. Oh, are you the elf that you that the lizard lizard elves whatever whatever? The kin's brow knits together, then apart and back again. He seems to be swimming deep in his thoughts and doesn't look up as you approach. Hi. Okay, you sell all right restoration. I need that for my cat. So. All right, I'm going to keep that spear. Um, what can I trade you? It's 200. Ugh. Oh, wait, I do have enough money. Give me restoration. How you doing? Hmm? What? Oh, kin. New are you? Very good. Very good. Make yourself at home. What's on your mind? My mind? What else, kin? I'm wondering why. All of this. Source. The Void Book. And the Divine. Why? What do you mean? We've used Source for thousands of years. We have used it to heal, to grow. How can it be that it suddenly summons these, these horrors from the Void? And when will Alexander ascend to divinity? We cannot continue like this. Great. All right, um, Losi. When another divine arises, will source change back? What if there are no All right, now we got the important skill. We find source so dangerous. What in his death? So void. Kitty, all the healing is back. All right, great. When another divine arises, will source change back? What if there All right, so I need to level up a bit. Hasn't Alexander risen yet? Um, I want to talk to this. Is, this is Fort Joy. I want to talk to Butter. I I have I have I have methods in my madness. Hi there. Everything heading into the kitchen. Don't try anything funny around Griff. I'm watching you. What? Do you like what you see? Ha! CK. What's your name? You can call me whatever you want. All right, slick. I haven't seen you around here before. When did you get in? 
long enough to know that you're the most beautiful woman here. All right, all right, easy now. You seem sweet, but I'm more curious about you than a bunch of cheesy lies. All right, I'll turn it down a few notches. <laughs> Thank you. Um. So how did you get involved with Griff? <laughs> you think? I was raised by the whip. And I'm not afraid to use one either, especially not in here. Oh. Joining up with Griff's the closest thing you can get to security around here. <laughs> Family, too. Till the Reds take you, anyway. I'd rather find uh, someone special. There's a gap between what we want and what we can have, isn't there? Here more than anywhere else. Come on, you should come with me. She laughs. The sound fills the air like the ringing of a bell. Now, wouldn't that be something? Look, I have an idea. I know we don't know each other very well, but time is so short and and the connection is so rare. <laughs> if we get out of here, will you meet me again in arcs? She leans forward and grazes your cheek with her lips. Until then. All right. Nice and slow. That's one person taken care of. Mind your manners, Ralph Griff, eh? Leave him be. Don't make me say it again. Listen, I can help you if you just... Shut up, elf. He's kind of badly injured. This clown caught him stealing from my kitchen. <clears throat> Still won't say where he stashed my supplies. Sound like someone you'd let off with a slap on the wrist. How do you know he's the culprit? Caught him red-handed trying to make off with a second crate after he took the first. <laughs> Went down like a rent boy when we grabbed him. Easy. What... What he... What was stolen? Supplies. A crate of food. A citrus in particular. <laughs> he'll talk or he'll die quiet. Um, if I find the supplies, you want me to... Uh, you free him? All I want is my supplies. <clears throat> Happy to let this clown die in a gutter instead of my kitchen. Bring back my crate, and you got yourself a deal. No, then. I've got that special shipment you was asking after. 